Do you think she's actually eyeing up a, a leadership bid here? Do you think that would be the worst thing in the world? Like you said, she has got deals done, hasn't she, whether she back Remain or not? Well, look, with, as with anything else in, in politics in the world, uh, words are one thing, actions quite another. I mean, let's just assess where we are in terms of the UK's relationship with the EU, because, of course, we've seen the ongoing negotiations with the EU. It feels like they go on and on and on, doesn't it? And Lord Frost, as you said, Frosty the no-man, well, sadly, he's melted, he's no longer there. He is someone, I think, who had a lot of respect uh, from Brexiteers, and rightly so. I'll tell you this, Patrick, Lord Frost was not very popular in Brussels, and the reports that have been emerging are that a lot of people in the corridors of the EU that are keen to see the back of him. Now, that isn't actually good in terms of the UK outlook. You want someone that negotiates hard. You want someone that unsettles the other side, that doesn't move in straight lines, that doesn't back down. And so you've got to look at the position now on the Northern Ireland Protocol, where these negotiations are ongoing. We know uh, that there's been talk for a long time now about triggering Article 16. Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, Lord Frost himself, have both said the conditions for triggering Article 16 have been met. It hasn't been done. We now hear some of the reports coming out of the negotiation that the UK red line on removing the ECJ jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice out of the Northern Ireland Protocol completely we're now here in that red line. The UK government may have backed down on that. And the rumour again is that though Lord Frost talked about other things, didn't he? He talked about uh, the government's plan being things like this for being reasons uh, as to why he felt he had to resign. Could it be that the government have gone soft in these negotiations? Yeah. Well, Liz Truss has already said still, again, that Article 16 is on the table. But as I said, actions speak a lot louder than words.